Hello everybody, this is the notes for Calculus, section 4.5. Uh, what we've been talking about all of chapter 4 is find the derivatives of different types of functions. This is the last section that we're going to do, dealing with this kind of stuff. So, finding the derivatives of logarithmic functions. So go ahead, hit pause, copy these things down, uh, but I want you to pay special attention to this one. This formula will work for all of these problems. All right, and the reason it does is, um, you know, it, it's the key thing there's that natural log base A, all right, or natural log of A. That's A is the base of the logarithm that we're taking. So the reason this thing works for all of them is with these natural logs, it's base E. The natural log of E is equal to 1. So in this formula where this arrow is over here, the natural log of E is just 1, and so what you have is g prime over g, which is the same thing here. And it would work here, it would work here. All right, so this formula, whoa, 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 grab the wrong thing. There's the circle. This formula, the circle's going around. That's the most important one. You can use that one for all of them. What just happened? Okay, there it is. Whew. I want to get, get rid of that. That's the most important one. So let's do some examples. All right. So to find the derivative of this, I'm going to find the derivative of equation y with respect to x. So it's the natural log of 6x. So that one formula that works for all of them, we take the derivative of the function we're taking the logarithm of. So the derivative of 6x is 6. It goes in the numerator. This is a natural log, which is a base e. So we take the natural log of e. That's going to be 1, and we'll clean it up in a second. Multiply by the function that we're taking the logarithm of, which is 6x. So this cleans up a little bit. 6 over natural log of e is 1 times 6x. We get this. Common factors of 6 cancel each other out. We have 1 over x. That is our derivative. Okay. For this next example here, uh, basically the same thing. We have a natural log. It's base e. So we're going to take the derivative, dy, derivative of y with respect to the variable x, the derivative of the function we're taking the logarithm of. So the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x over the natural log of e. It's just 1, so we don't need to put it. Multiply by the, er, the um, function we're taking the logarithm of. So that's just x squared plus 1. And in this one, there's no simplifying that can be done. Um, the x, this x squared in the denominator, is not a factor of the denominator, so we can't cancel out any, anything. And so that's it. That's the derivative there. Okay, for this next example, now we've got a log base 2. So to find that derivative, same thing. Just use that one formula that I circled on the first slide. Take the derivative of the function we're taking the logarithm of. So the derivative of 3x squared minus 4x is a 6x minus 4 over the natural log of the base of our logarithm. So the natural log of 2. And that natural log of 2 is just a number, so it's going to be a coefficient. We're just going to leave it there in parentheses. Nothing's going to go in that logarithm. Nothing's going to come out of that logarithm. And then we've got to multiply by the function we're taking the logarithm of. 3x squared minus 4x. Okay, so this one is also done. There's no simplifying that can be done. In that numerator, we could factor out a 2, but it's not going to cancel anything out. Again, nothing's going to happen with that natural log of 2. Uh, in this factor in the denominator, that 3x squared minus 4x, we could factor out an x, but it's not going to cancel anything out, so it's not worthwhile. So we're all done with that one. For the next problem here, we have a product. This is a function of 3x multiplied by the natural log of x squared. Because it's a product, to find the derivative, we got to use the product rule. So the derivative of 3x is 3 times the natural log of x squared plus 3x times the derivative of natural log of x squared. So that's going to be the derivative of the function x squared that we're taking the logarithm of, so that's 2x over natural log of e, which is 1, times the function we were taking the logarithm of, which is x squared. 
All right, so for this one, a couple things can clean up here. Three times the natural log of x squared. We will be able to do something with that, and I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. In this one, this 3x multiplied by this fraction, the 3x times the 2x gives us a 6x squared, then we're dividing by x squared. So that just becomes 6. This first term, it cleans up a little bit. In uh, the beginning of the year, and in your Algebra 2 classes, we talked about some rules for, x, uh, rules for logarithms. When you have an exponent on the thing you're taking the logarithm of, that exponent it can be moved out in front with a multiplication. So that becomes 3 times 2 times the natural log of x. So this is a good answer. We could also factor out a 6 from both terms, leaving us with the natural log of x plus 1. That's a good answer also. I would take either one of those. And let's do this last example here. We now have a fraction. So to find the derivative of equation y with respect to x, we need to be doing the quotient rule. So the derivative of the top. Our top function is a logarithm. So we've got to find the derivative of that. So we're going to take the derivative of the function we're taking the logarithm of. That becomes 3 halves x to the 1 half. And then we're dividing it by the natural log of our base. So natural log of 8 multiplied by the function we're taking the logarithm of. That's the derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the derivative of the denominator is just 1 times the numerator. So that's just going to be the numerator. x to the 3 has plus 1. All of this is over the denominator squared. All right, we can do some cleaning up here. Uh, what we have is, this is an x to the first. So when we multiply this out, it's just going into the numerator. So we're going to have this x to the 1 half times an x to the first. So that's going to be a 3 halves x to the, we add exponents. So 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves over the natural log of 8 times x to the 3 halves plus 1 minus log base 8 of x to the 3 halves plus 1. All of this is still over x squared. Now, there's not much else we could do. Uh, we could clear the fraction by multiplying by this denominator there. But it gets kind of complicated, and it doesn't do much to clean things up. So I'm cool with this right here. All right, that is all the examples. That's finding the derivative of logarithmic functions. Again, this one is the most important, most useful. So instead of memorizing all four of these, which are kind of, you know, kind of tedious to memorize them all, if you know this one, you got them all. That's it. Bye.